A lot of people still uh, came out today, according to the organizers of the authorized rally, 120,000 people took part in the legal assembly. And of course, a lot of the protesters strayed from uh, the authorized route. There's a lot of confusion on the ground, very typical of this leaderless protest. Earlier, some protesters uh, blocked the Hong Kong Tunnel. That's a crucial cross the harbor tunnel here in Hong Kong. And more protesters who were heading that way. Uh, in fact, in fact, we were following the column of the people, but 20 minutes into the walk, some people in the crowd shouted for everybody to turn back to Mong Kok. So right now we're back at TST, as you can see from here. This is the south of Mong Kok. Some protesters are still heading that way, but a lot of them are just sitting down, taking a break and trying to figure out what is going on. I just want to give you a sense of where I am right now. This is Nathan Road in TST. This is usually one of the busiest shopping districts in Hong Kong, extremely popular uh, with mainland Chinese tourists. But as you can see right now, uh, it's completely off limits to cars. And over here, this is a stretch of the most expensive shop fronts, some of the most expensive shop fronts uh, in Hong Kong. But it's still 8 o'clock uh, on a Saturday night. All of these shops have taken a preemptive action to close down. We should say, though, so far the protests, even these uh, unauthorized bits of the protests, have been extremely, uh, extremely peaceful. And so far, we haven't. We've been walking around for two hours, and we haven't seen a single police officers. John. Yeah, I was going to ask about that because the police have uh, classified this protest as illegal, and they even earlier uh, warned protesters of decisive action. Uh, are they playing just a wait and see game right now? That's a very good question, and it's a very important distinction. What is uh, illegal and what is legal? Now, the uh, approved rally plan is a very short walk uh, just uh, uh, on the side streets of uh, Mong Kok. They actually have the permission to stay until 9 p.m., so that permit has not expired. Uh, though, given it was uh, such a short walk, it's safe to say people who have followed that route uh, have more or less uh, have left uh, to, to go home. Uh, this part of uh, Kowloon was not part of the authorized route. So anyone who's out here protesting, uh, by definition, is taking part in an illegal assembly. In fact, this part of Hong Kong wasn't even in the original route plan that was uh, submitted by uh, the organizers uh, of the protests. So uh, this was really impromptu. Uh, as to the police, uh, the question was posed to police earlier today at a press conference as to what, uh, how they plan to handle the protesters so spilling into TST. Uh, the police uh, at that point, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, said they were not aware of such an action. And so far, uh, the, the, the police has closed down some of the reporting rooms uh, in the vicinity. But as I was saying earlier, uh, we haven't seen any police uh, officers uh, near TST, uh, even though uh, lots of uh, roads have been uh, blocked off. And we did see some minor clashes between uh, protesters and some uh, drivers of stranded cars that we're unhappy about the situation.